try an example with money. Thirty-four cents plus twenty-nine cents. Again, it's very important that you write neatly and that not only the numbers are lined up in the right columns, but that the decimal point is also lined up right on top of each other. And because it's money, you need to make sure you have a dollar sign. So other than that, we'll add it like the other problems, starting in the ones column. Four plus nine is 13, so we'll put down the three, carry the one. Now we have one plus three, which is four. Four plus two is six. Drop down the decimal point. Drop down the zero, zero plus zero is zero. And drop down the dollar sign. So we have 63 cents as the sum. Let's use the inverse operation to check that. So again, I'm making sure that I write neatly this answer and I'm going to subtract 29 cents so 3 minus 9 doesn't work so I can borrow 1 from the 6 the 6 becomes a 5 this becomes 13 13 minus 9 is 4 5 subtract 2 is 3 we bring down that decimal point 0 minus 0 is 0 and we bring down the dollar sign and we have 34 cents which is what we had up here on top so our answer is correct so make sure when you're doing this the digits the decimal point and the dollar sign are all lined up correctly on top of each other. Let's try another money problem. Let's pretend we have one dollar and twenty-three cents and that we find another seventy-five cents. Again, written neatly, numbers, decimal points, and dollar signs lined up vertically. 3 plus 5 is 8, 2 plus 7 is 9, bring down the decimal point, 1 plus 0 is 1, bring down the dollar sign, and we have a dollar 98. Let's check this with the inverse operation. 1 dollar 98 cents subtract 75 cents, zero dollars and 75 cents. Eight, again, we wanna make sure everything is lined up neatly, and if you do that, I guarantee it will be easier. So again, just double check to make sure your digits are lined up vertically, and the decimal is lined up vertically, and your dollar sign is lined up vertically. If you do this, it will make your life much easier as a mathematician. So 8 subtract 5 is 3, 9 subtract 7 is 2, drop that decimal point down, and 1 subtract 0 is 1, drop the dollar sign down, and we have $1.23, and that is what we have up here. So using the inverse operation, we know our answer is correct. So the tip is to write neatly. And make sure that your digits, your decimal points, your dollar signs are lined up on top of each other. And always start with start with the ones place. If you follow these 
three tips, you're going to do a fantastic job. Thank you very much.